Hello, you've been sent to this video because it saves me time from having to write the same reply in the comments section over and over again on my videos. And I wanted to make sure that I made a response that's thorough and accurate. If you're on this video, you made a comment on one of my videos giving your disdain of the Catholic Church. And you're probably trying to save my soul, and that's commendable. And I thank you greatly, and I also highly respect your love of Scripture, believe me. I'd like to start by saying that whatever you brought up, whether it be about the Pope, Mary and the Saints, the Eucharist, statues, or the Crusades, I'd like to respond to you that what you've said, I have already heard. And if what you said is indeed true, I wouldn't be a Catholic Christian. I lovingly tell you that your comment made was ignorant. I have looked into each and every charge that has been brought up for the last 2,000 years and have given the Catholic Church their chance to reply to the charge. And I've seen that all of the responses from the Church to these charges not only make sense, but they make sense enough for me to be convinced that the Catholic Church is indeed the true Church of Jesus Christ that he founded. I'd like to quote Archbishop Fulton Sheen now when he said, There are not 100 people that hate the Catholic Church. There are, however, millions that hate what they believe to be, wrongly believe to be, the Catholic Church. There's a free show on YouTube that you can look up, and it proves this quote. And it's, the show is called The Journey Home. Like you, there are people who tell stories who said that they hated the Catholic Church, and they did their best to prove it wrong. And they were trying to bring others to believe in Sola Scriptura, or the Bible alone. People like Scott Hahn, Tim Staples, and Steve Ray, they were all open to the Holy Spirit, and they were very anti-Catholic. But they put a full research mode into their lives, and into what the Catholic Church actually believes, and what the Catholic Church actually has to say about the topics, the topics that concerned them. After thorough research, they all became Catholic, and they have become Catholic speakers to this very day. All of their talks, easily findable on YouTube. So the next time you comment, next time you do it, make sure that you make your comment in the form of a question instead. That way, it isn't accusatory. What turns me off is when you say something like, Catholics worship statues. Instead, next time, say, or ask, is it true that Catholics worship statues? For those that want to reply that they are experts in the faith because they grew up Catholic or went to Catholic school, that doesn't mean anything to me. Why? Because I grew up Catholic too and didn't understand the faith until I was 27 years old. Going to Mass when you're growing up and going to Sunday school or religious education class does not make you an expert in the faith. Speaking from personal experience there. If you read the Catechism of the Catholic Church, which is an easy-to-read encyclopedia for Catholics, it's an explanation of the faith and of the Bible. It's the who's, what's, where's, when's, and why's of the Bible. You can buy a copy of it, or you can actually access it for free online. I highly recommend this book as the source that you should be questioning with your accusations, and you'll see that you've been mistaken. I'm not going to leave the church that Jesus Christ established. If you left the faith, if you have personally left the faith, you're welcome back home at any time. Watch the Bible come to life when you go to confession and live John chapter 20, verses 22 and 23. There's a question that I never hear atheists ask, and I don't understand why I don't hear this question, but I'm going to ask it to you now if I were an atheist. It's questioning you on your beliefs. And that question is, why are there so many denominations of Christianity? To me, that means that Christians can't even agree with one another when it comes to the Bible. If you don't believe me, take this example. We're going to go to the example of abortion. Why does the denomination of the United Church of Christ and the Presbyterian Church support abortion, but the Assemblies of God and the Lutheran Church Missouri Synod do not support it? They all use the Bible alone as their sole authority. 
So I have to ask now, do you think that this is what Jesus wanted? Different ways to read the Bible with different interpretations. Or do you think that Jesus wanted the church to be one and to be built like a house on a foundation of stone instead of sand? This would drive me nuts if I was an atheist. Jesus founded a church. He didn't drop a magic book on us at Pentecost. He left us a church. I recommend watching some Journey Home episodes and reading the Catechism of the Catholic Church and speaking directly even with a Catholic priest, bringing up all of these concerns that you have. Bring it to them. They're going to be happy to have a discussion with you. You will see that when you challenge a Catholic who knows his faith, you're going to get knocked off of your script. Be careful of your accusations and ask questions instead. If you left the faith, chances are something happened to you and you, had, and you had a very negative experience. I became an inactive member of the Catholic Church because of emotional reasons. But emotions don't equal truth. I'm not going anywhere. Jesus gave us the sacrament of confession, John chapter 20. And he gave us his body and blood, soul and divinity in the Eucharist. See John chapter 6 and all of the Last Supper accounts. I appreciate your concern. Believe me, I appreciate your concern. And I love your love of scripture. But I want to be part of the church that Jesus Christ himself established in Matthew chapter 16. And I'm there. Did I read this response? Yes, I did. I wanted to be thorough with a response to what you said. Things that are said in an accusatory way turn me off, and they can be rather hurtful some, sometimes too. So the recommendation is ask questions instead. It's okay to not understand the Catholic faith. It's okay. Just ask questions instead next time, please. I love you. God bless you.